These are the components of the flute head joint. The riser, the lip plate, tube, crown, and cork assembly. The head joint process begins with a straight silver, gold, or platinum tube. The tube is drawn over a uniquely tapered arbor. The tapered tube is polished on the buffing machine to inspect and correct any imperfections. The riser is a casting, so we first clip the gate. The surface is refined with the aid of abrasive wheels. The riser is attached to the lip plate with silver solder. Each tube is hand engraved with a Burkhart logo and a serial number. The lip plate and riser assembly is positioned on the tube and fluxed. We slowly bring the head joint up to soldering temperature. The lip plate is thicker than the tube. The riser is thicker than both, so they rise to temperature at different rates. We really have to know our flame and our solders. The top surface of the lip plate is filed and sanded by hand. Small files and scraping tools are used to hand carve the shape of the embouchure hole. This shaping of the hole influences the resonance and all tonal qualities. The maker tests at the bench as each adjustment is made. The piccolo cutting process is similar. Testing occurs at the bench. The head joint is polished. I guide the head joint makers in making final adjustments. A collaborative effort is made with many sets of ears evaluating the progress of each head joint. A cork assembly is finalized and a polished crown tops the piece. The head joint is completed and the flute is ready for padding and finishing. <laughs>